Deputies are looking for a killer after a shooting in rural Pottawatomie County. Investigators say a man was found dead. He was lying in the doorway of his home. Our News 9's Bonnie Campo is in the newsroom with what investigators are saying. Bonnie? Amanda, at first, deputies thought the man died of natural causes. It wasn't until his clothes were removed, two gunshot wounds were found. The victim's friends, who also owned the property, called 911. I just got home and found him dead laying in front of his trailer. 60-year-old Harry Benostel Jr. was discovered around 5 Sunday night. Deputies race to the scene and find a dead dog in the yard and a bullet hole in another home on the lot. We had a dead dog that was shot that was chained up. This is like one of 10 or 15 dogs that was chained up. So why we had one dog shot and not the rest of them. The gunshot victim was a sex offender convicted of lewd acts with a child in 2007. We're not saying that's a motive. We don't know yet. Um, it could be and it could not be. Investigators say the suspect pool is small. These backcountry roads are hard to navigate, complicated for those who don't know the area. The shooting on White Oaks Lane near Macomb. Investigators believe the shooter had to know what they were looking for. Not everybody knows where it is and, and even know how to get to it. Investigators say the medical examiner reports Van Ostel Jr. likely died in agony. His eyes are all kind of aged over and he's stiff and cold. The shots that he received, he could have easily made it probably a good quarter of a mile before he would have failed. We think the way he was facing, we think he was trying to get back into his travel trailer to might even try to call 911. We're not sure. Investigators are looking for tips. They say the other people living on the property are not suspects. They provided a strong alibi. Bonnie Campo, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.